Hi guys, today we'll be going over the SQL substring function. If you like this tutorial, please give it a like and leave all your questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification button. Let's start then. The substring function in SQL is used to return a portion of the string within a column. Let's go over an example so we can see how we can use substring within a SQL statement. The syntax will be as follows. So you will need to write the word substring and you put your column name and you need to enter the position that you want to start at and the length of the string that you are willing to return let's go over an example and we'll see how we can use this one here for this function so let's select from our table called adventureworks database schema sales and the table name is sales territory Let's run our select statement here and I'm only interested in returning certain columns territory ID I need the name country region code and the group Okay, let's say I only want to return these columns, first, second, third, and fourth. Let me run my query, and as you can see, I have some kind of errors here. The first error is going to be, oh sorry, I did run the whole script, I should not run this, I need to comment this out. Let me run just the bottom section of just this section actually okay so we have an error and it says that incorrect syntax near the keyword group why is because the word group is a built-in function into sql language so the your code here or sql server is thinking that you are trying to group by, for example, by aggregating, and it's telling you that you did not write the group by properly because usually the group by should be right after the from and should not be in the select statement. But because we have a, a column called group within this table, sales territory, we need to let SQL know that we are not calling its function, however, we are calling the group column from this table and as you see the, the moment I enter the square brackets around the word group it's not blue anymore also the name is um, a kind of a built-in function uh, or operator within the SQL language so anytime you see a column name change from black to blue or pink make sure to wrap that column name uh, or put square brackets around that column name now if I run my query you will see that my query will run fine all right so now let's see how we can use the substring okay and this is the syntax remember so Let's say we want to use the substring on the group column. Let's say I need 
to return the fourth from the four digits of the value and I only need to go two digits so in this case I should go get one two three four so I should get T and H because T is on position four and H is on uh, the second position right after uh, our starting position so now we write the substring and we need to write so we wrote this now we need to write our column name and our column name is called group wrap it between square brackets and I need to start from position number four and I only need to return two digits and let's call this column as group mod or modified okay now let me comment out this and run my script so as you can see we were asking SQL to return all these columns and for column group we used substring so we can get we start from the fourth position which is T in this example here for North America and we only want to return two digits so T is digit 1 H is digit 2 that's why we, we got TH returned for Europe it's the same thing we started from the fourth position fourth position one two three four so that's O and we only returned two digits so O including O is position one and two or P is two so that's why we have O P same thing from for Pacific our starting position is number four so the fourth letter within the word Pacific is an I and since we are only returning two digits the next character right after the, the the letter I is an F so that's why our result returned F now let's say I want to return start from position 4 but I need to return three digits gonna run my query again and so let's go over the first example uh, you will tell me that okay you started from the fourth position and you asked to return three digits but you only got two digits back for uh, row number one for the word North America let me explain you why I only get two digits versus three digits because if you take a close look look actually at the word North America oh, let me see so the word North America we say starting at position 4 and bring us three digits so we started at position 4 which is T and we brought actually three digits so including so that's th i'm sorry so we have t is position four so that's one character the second character is h and we brought th and the third character that we have is a blank space that's why you did not see any third character here it's just because of the white space and white space will just show as a white space now for the word Europe we started from position 4 which will be the word O and we brought three digits so what after, comes after O and it's within the, the three digits it's O P and E that's why we have O P and E 
Now let's say output five, return five digits. Run it. So I'm starting again on the four digits, which is T. And from the T, I need to count five digits or spaces. So I have T as one, H as two, space as three, A for America as four, and M as the fifth character. That's why I have TH space. You count the space actually within a string. That space is not just there for the, the fun or just there so uh, we can separate words. When it comes to counting uh, or uh, data type, uh, any space or blank space is actually taken in consideration within the length of your column. So now let's go over a different example. Let's start from our second position and let's bring in four digits. As you can see, the second letter of all those words here, uh, for example, North America, the second letter is O, so that's where we started from. And we asked the SQL actually to, br to bring us back four digits. So what comes after O and it's within four digits? So we have O, R, T, H. And if you count these letters, there are four which is this total here. Same thing for Europe. The second position is an O, I'm sorry, it's a U, like umbrella. And counting four digits from U, we have U, R, O, P. So that's four digits. And that's what we have, U, R, O, P. This is how you use the substring and remember again, the substring function in SQL is used to return a portion of the string within a column. And that's what we have gone through within this example. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.